Put it on lightning track. Look at this dude. Sit down, sit down. Easy, get him. There you go. I'll explain why we're doing that in a second. Alright. Okay, keep breathing. Dave's the man. Okay, come over here. Nice and smooth. Let's use that food off of it. Tip over here. Got nice fish! Yes! Yes! Nice fish. Right in front of the beach, huh? <laughs> Look at that, dude. That's a nice fish. Wow. That's six, seven pounds. Yeah. That's Trigger minnow, guys. Beautiful. What? Where? Oh. Go get him. Get him. Yay. Step right to your side. Look at nice fish. Nice fish. Cat almost fell out the boat. Yeah, I saw that. There he is, guys, right there. Orange trigger minnow. Woo! So, that was the same thing we got our uh, big fish on yesterday, guys, at, at Orange uh, Trigger Minnow, right under the surface, man. What a fight. We fought that fish for he, he was on that fish for several minutes, guys. He was just a monster. Woo! Crazy action, guys. We've hooked four fish here in like, I don't know, seven minutes. We're landed, trying to land the third one here. I got fish in the bucket. I got fish in the box. I gotta do a count. We might be close to limit. Guys, I'm I'm getting ready to count fish. The box is full. I was I was I got the bucket out and we put three in the bucket since I decided to start counting. So we'll get to the count here in a sec. That is four limits of Collins Lake trout, guys. Here we go. Got the, got the big daddy here. I figure that's gotta be real close to eight pounds. And we got some nice rainbows, we got lightning trout today. Mother had some rainbows, but it's not really a bad fish in the bad fish in the bunch. That is awesome. Hey guys, Kel Kellogg here. I'm out here with my buddy Ken. Um, last three days here at Collins Lake, it's really stormy today. Last three days here on the water, been smashing them on the orange trigger minnows, and I've been rigging them a couple different ways. Let's see, I'm gonna do a little course correction here. I'll be right back at you. Okay, I'm back. Um, it's really stormy. It's been stormy for three days. Um, got some really nice fish this week, up to nine pounds. I got them all on orange trigger minnows, and we just landed a fish on this one, so he's kind of, kind of scrunched up a little bit, but I'll straighten him out. So I'm running these two ways. I'm running them naked on the leader, just like that with nothing but an action disc. That's working very well. But what's working even better is that I'm teaming them with a turbo flasher. Target speed, 1.8 to 2.2. Um, top eight feet of the water column. Eight feet has been about my deepest fish. Um, got that nine pounder day before, no, that was yesterday. A nine pounder yesterday, four feet got a seven pounder the day before that that one was also four feet deep but uh, just as, as as you know the hours have gone by out here the turbo flasher paired with the orange trigger minnow has been outpacing 
the naked trigger minnow, which is uh, kind of a surprise. I usually don't run them with the tractors, but I started playing with turbo flashers. I've got two lead core rods out with turbos on them right now, one without. They're both catching fish, but the turbo is definitely getting the edge. Um, the nice thing about the turbo flasher is it's got a lot of wind. We had more wind yesterday. We had wind up to about 30 miles an hour. Nice thing about the turbo versus a Dodger is this will work at any speed. If I turn and go downwind, you know, I'm gonna have the wind behind me, I might get going 27, 28, I might get going three miles an hour at times. If I have a Dodger on at that kind of speed, it's gonna spin, it's gonna make a mess of everything. Turbo flasher, all it's gonna do is spin faster and faster. So that's why I opted to, you know, start playing with the turbo flasher out here and, uh, you know, got a little stain in the water and, you know, for whatever reason, that seems to be what they want or what they want the most. So, and they only want orange. I've tried pink, I've tried the other colors. For whatever reason right now, it's all about orange. So, that's it for now. Let's see if we can put some more fish in the box here. We just put a nice rainbow in the box. And uh, we had a group out this morning, we had a full boat this morning, but this wind and rain kind of kind of wore my other folks down, sent them home with six or seven nice rainbows. And uh, Ken and I are out here, we are hunting for something big. That's our goal. So, we'll see if we can make it happen. Well, that's Ken right there, guys. He just got one on the top line. We just lost a monster, and we're probably gonna end on this fish. We're gonna end on a high note. It's stormy, I'm cold. Ken's gonna be here for a few days. This is on that, uh, this is a naked uh, orange trigger minnow up top. Oh, Whoa, it's over here. I was playing with the camera. Find him around the corner, Ken. Oh my gosh, now he's over there. Oops. Oh, now he's off. <laughs> we were gonna let him go anyway. That was a nice fit. <laughs> Just goes to show you, if you do everything possible, you can lose them. That was pretty good. That was probably, I'm gonna say that was two and a half, three pounds. Um, that's a wrap for my week here at Collins, guys. We're gonna roll them up. Wes is gonna be out here with some clients tomorrow. It's definitely an orange trigger minnow bite. Um, again, the best thing you can pull is that, uh, at least right now today, is that trigger minnow and the turbo. But uh, that, that trigger minnow up top, they're all working. So just keep your bait up in the top 10 feet of the water column. Keep your speed somewhere, you know, 1.7 to 2.2. Um, pull those orange trigger minnows and you are gonna be yelling, fish on. And if you're looking for trigger minnows, um, we're gonna have those available in the store here this weekend. So they should be up now. I'm gonna give Wes a big sack of those today because we have been sold out. Anyway, I'm Cal Kellogg. If you're looking for trigger minnows, lead core rods, anything else, all that stuff and more, you know where to go, fhsfishing.com. Thanks for all the support and we will see you here on YouTube real soon. Thanks a ton, guys.